So a question I often get asked is, who should use what grip? So I think the baseball grip is a great grip to start with. It's the easiest to remember, all 10 digits on the club. I think there's merit in someone that's older and, and a little bit more frail and not quite as strong as they once were. I think that would be an advantage in using the baseball grip, not for everyone, but this is just some of the people that could use it. Because it has all 10 digits on the, cl on the club, therefore you can use your right hand to help release the club. So if you have trouble releasing the club, the baseball grip is certainly one of those grips that can really help you in getting that club head through and better. Then there's the interlocking grip. And I think the interlocking grip is great for people that are slightly weaker, uh, have very small hands. So children, uh, anyone that w wears a cadet style glove may benefit from the interlocking grip. Jack Nicholas used it. You know, it's about half and half these days from what I can see. You know, back when I was playing, it was mostly the overlapping, but now you've got half and half using the interlocking versus the overlapping or the Varden. One thing to consider when you're using the interlocking though is that we have to be careful not to grip too tightly. I just find with the interlocking grip it builds a lot of tension in that middle part of the grip there between my thumb, uh, sorry my pointer finger and my little pinky of my right hand and I don't really want tension in that part of the golf club. If I'm going to have tension, I'm going to have tension in my right thumb and pointer finger, not in the middle. So you just got to be mindful of that. Some people find it does cause a bit of pain in the joint with that grip because they're squeezing a little bit too tight. The grip that I use, and I'm not saying everyone has to use it, but the grip that I use is the overlapping or the Varden grip. And to me, it's, it's got nine digits on the club. There's only my little pinky of my right hand that's overlapping, so it's it, enables me to release the club pretty well and have good control. So there are the three categories. So who should use it? Kids, uh, small hands, interlocking. Anyone that has a difficulty releasing the club probably should consider using the baseball grip or someone that's older, maybe someone that's got arthritis, that would be a, a benefit as well. And uh, the overlapping suits a vast majority of golfers. So what I would suggest, if you're not sure which one to use, go out on the range and hit some balls. Try a little bit of each and see what, not necessarily what works well straight away, but just what feels more comfortable and do it over a few days. Uh, hit some shots with each of those three grips and you'll pretty soon work out what grip is right for you.